world's fastest tripod setup right now. My instructors and I have been working a lot recently on trying to figure out how to make a very simplistic tripod. We use tripods all over the place for all things from shelter to cooking to different crafting projects such as smoking hides. And it was important for us after watching a lot of individuals in our survival class use lashings and use up a lot of their cordage of how can we make this simpler? How can we make it quicker that they're not expending as much energy and resources in making just a tripod that might only be holding a few pounds. Maybe it's just a bush pot, maybe it's a water filtration system, something that doesn't bear a lot of weight. Why are we using all this cordage? Why do we need all this lashings and frappings to just hold something in place for a short time? Well, we came up with the answer and I think you're gonna love it. I have one foot of cordage here. I'm now gonna take my three poles and I don't wanna keep these in line as we are doing a traditional lashing. What I'm going to do is bundle these up just like that. Lay my line across them and tie just a square knot in order to keep these in place. So we wanna think about this as a bundle not as side by side. So I'm just tying that square knot in place, nice and tight. Now we can set up the tripod. Now that we have our bundle, I'm gonna take any one stick. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to simply flip it over like this. And now my tripod is done. That is it. The beauty of this tripod is super minimal cordage, super minimal effort. So if we're in a camp type setting that we are just stopping shortly, but we want a tripod maybe to hang our cook pot, cook something, maybe we're even smoking a hide or doing something out in the woods that we don't need anything really sustainable, this will work. And I don't even like to say the fact that not sustainable. This thing will hold, I put a Dutch oven on this. I mean, there's a lot of strength to this. It's not going anywhere. Now, would I use this for a big sustainable shelter? No, I wanna use a proper lash for this. But something like this for a quick camp setup, this is it, it's the ticket. And you can use your roll of cordage. You can tie it around to even minimize how much cordage you're using if you're in a um, tight situation like that. But this is really strong, really sturdy, and it's a quick, easy, effective way to make a tripod. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. I know I've been working with my instructors for a while to figure out something super simple like this, and I think that this is it. I think we're gonna be using this way more than we do that traditional lashing with frapping. I just, I think it's easy, and why didn't we think of this before? duh kind of thing. So as always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods.